Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Here we are playing a little bit more of Zoo Tycoon 2 where we're building Jurassic Park. And look at that, we got our two Dilophosauruses just hanging out over here. Alright, so, uh, first of all, my voice is going to be a little bit hoarse uh, during this video and I apologize for that. I was out late last night, the music was loud, so I could only communicate by screaming. Um, so, yeah, this is the price that I'm going to have to pay. Now, uh, I did put some thought into uh, what exhibit I wanted to do today. You know, we're coming off of, like, two kind of smaller carnivores. Like, admittedly, the, the Dilophosaurus that we use isn't, like, really, really small. But, it's you know, it's not big compared to some of the future predators that we're going to have in here. Um, so, I know some of you guys were commenting below as well uh, for ideas that you had. I know the popular ones were, like, Trodon and, uh, and Baryonyx. Now, I mentioned this in the comments that Trudon, we're going to hold off a little bit just because I want to find somewhere in this park to kind of hide Trudon, you know, have it be sort of like that attraction that, you know, it wasn't ready for release yet, right? So, so we're going to hold off on Trudon. For Baryonyx, I'm not opposed to doing Baryonyx soon, however, I didn't want to do it immediately after Dilophosaurus because after doing some digging, you know, obviously Baryonyx would have a water-based exhibit, but as it turns out, its exhibit was kind of almost in a mountain pass, you know, kind of like the ri a river going through the mountains near the coast of the island. So, again, that's kind of similar to what we just did here, you know, a very water-based exhibit with, with some hills. So, it's we're going to make it look different, obviously, but uh, we're going we're gonna to hold off a little bit on Baryonyx, just so, just so we don't have these two similar exhibits one after the other. So, instead, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a herbivore exhibit, just because, you know, we haven't done a herbivore in a little while, and... As it turns out, there's a lot of smaller carnivores in Jurassic Park, so we got to differentiate a little bit. Plus, we're sort of coming up on the end of this little line of exhibits that we would have here-ish. Um, so, here, let's zoom out completely. Like, we still have a lot of the park left to, left to do, but obviously, like, this exhibit with the Brachiosaurus took up a lot of space. A lot, a lot of space, which is fine. It's totally fine. It just means we do have to be a little conservative with everything else if we want to fit in as many dinosaurs as we can. Hopefully without the park, the game, rather, crashing too hard. So, I kind of came down to two possible dinosaurs that we could do today. And I was thinking either Triceratops or Stegosaurus. Now, the reason I made my choice final was like, I decided we're going to do Triceratops. I'll go ahead and say that. Because Stegosaurus appeared only in the book, which maybe you guys know, maybe you don't know. Um, and I don't know why it's called Ankylosaurus. That's just a weird glitch. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but yeah, in the book, the Stegosaurus basically filled the void of Triceratops. And, and what I mean by that is they were both said to be in the park, but th it was a Stegosaurus that got sick. It was a Stegosaurus that they had to heal. Um, and in the movie, Triceratops took its spot. You know, why? I'm not sure. I... Why, why are you not contained? I guess maybe Triceratops just had a certain amount of more notoriety to it or something. I don't know. Not important. Regardless, I do have a picture right here. Basically, just, you know, so, like, I have a good view of what the paddock looks like in the film. Uh, it's like that nice overview shot that they had from the Jeep. So, I'm looking at it, and it's looking kind of more temperate to me, whereas everything else has been very tropical. So, that's kind of what I want to do, is it, it does seem like, you know, it's a lot of flat with some hills scattered around in there, you know. I don't want to make everything have these hills, but but I think if we differentiate it, differentiate it enough, it should be fine. So, let's just go ahead, and we can put that paddock, like, right over here. And, uh, yeah, let's zoom out and see how exactly how big of a size we got to deal with here. I wouldn't even mind, yeah, just making it like this big, right here. I think that would look kind of cool. Oh my god, these Dilophosauruses, why? Why? How are you even doing that? Stay in there, jeez. Okay, so, first off, I'm just going to fill in that path right there, because it's going to drive me crazy crazy if we don't. Alright, let's see. It's you. Yes, it's you. 
Let's get you out of there. Uh, nope. You know, I'm just so thankful I'm not hungover right now because I feel like filming this with a hangover would just be a pain in the ass. Okay, cool. So, obviously, I think this one has tropical rainforest. Yeah, tropical rainforest as its biome. We're gonna um, change that up a little bit. I don't know if I want to go full-blown boreal forest or what, but but I do. You know, we're not gonna do just that. Um, but first of all, let's get those hills going. Um, and you know, it's like I don't. It's not gonna be like as big of a slope as as the Dilophosaurus had. This is just gonna be like sort of like oh yeah, hill here, hill there, and you know, they're they're all smaller for the most part. This is what we're gonna do with with this. And, like, I do want this part to just remain completely flat, you know, but, like, over here are some small raises. Let's take a look at how that low, okay, from this exhibit. Whatever, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's actually kind of what I had in mind, where it's just, like, a couple smaller raises. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. Okay, um, now it's just a matter of finding a good-looking exhibit for it. Alright, Temperate Forest doesn't suck. That actually that actually looks really really similar to the color scheme, I guess, that, that that the exhibit that I'm looking at has. Now let me just I'm gonna go into this other tab here real quick. I don't think you guys can notice that. Uh, I'm just gonna look up another picture. Of the Triceratops itself, and just like the area it was lying in, and so we can try to recreate that as best as we can. I, mean, I guess it was just sort of a clearing amid a bunch of grass, by the looks of it. Definitely some more tropical foresty like plants, but like the ground looks a lot more temperate still. And the trees, like, there's some, like, evergreen-looking trees in there, so... So, yeah. Let's stick to the more temperate field for this one. Alright. We're back in here. Um... I don't want to... Like, I don't get it. Why the Parasaurolophus is hungry now? And this Dilophosaurus, again, like... What is happening? Why are you escaping? How are you escaping? Temperate forest, right? Yeah. Let's do that. I kind of like the scattered effect a little more. And then... I'll put this splotch of dirt right here to sort of be that clearing where the Triceratops was... Yeah, Triceratops was just laying. And yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that it remains kind of empty. Okay. Let's see, why is this there? Okay, no. How about Tropical Draw Force real quick? I'm just, no, that's, no. Though, that makes for a slightly better clearing thing, biome. Yeah, alright, that's cool. But I'm gonna, nope, nope, wrong. Temper Force, there we go. Gonna fill that in slightly there. And maybe there. Yeah, okay, I'm content with that. Okay, um, let's see, the trees. The trees are, like, a more dull green compared to everything else that we have so far. So, uh, let, let's see if I can just find something. I kind of, like, we're not going to use that one because that looks weird. We're not going to use that one, that's too bright. Okay, kind of like this is sort of, yeah, the color scheme I'm looking at. Oh, see, there we go. Like, for the more tropical ones, I'm... Oh, no, you're gonna be leaving... Ugh. My god. 
We're gonna have to go over all of that and... Okay. Yeah, okay. But like, yeah, basically this back is all gonna be kind of more tree-filled, tree-oriented, whereas the front is gonna be much more like... Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's kind of thing. Whereas the front is gonna be more like, you know, kind of a grazing ground type thing for them. Smaller ones that those look like how they uh, lined up behind. Yeah, what am I even saying? It looks like what lined up behind it, essentially. Jeez, oh, yeah, my my mind is still so like clouded right now. I was definitely looking for an acacia tree, so I'm glad we got that. No, not you. Not you. Yeah, I did, I did say that, like, a few of them look just like evergreen trees, so, like, I'm content with throwing a few of these in there. Not too many, because it is still Jurassic Park, and it's a fairly tropical location. There we go. I actually really love this tree for, like, swampy exhibits, and it's... Totally coming in handy here, too, just filling in the back. I dig it. It gets, like, denser and bigger the further it goes. So it's kind of like this forest just goes on and on behind behind this, essentially, you know? Alright, um... Just fill that in as fast as we can. Get rid of all the weird tropical rainforest stuff. Okay. So now we need lower hanging plants and such. So this is going to be based on the grasses that are kind of surrounding the sick triceratops essentially. Uh, that's not really high enough. Let's see. Yeah, these are all kind of small, but I mean, I guess. Fair enough, fair enough. They do help, like, fill in the area. I'm going to save real quick. Just... Just so we have it all, just in case. Oh, I know there's like a hay mod out there, which would actually be really good because it looks like the Triceratops is laying in a bunch of like dry hay or grass or something. And I know I have it downloaded, I just don't know if it's like currently in the mod folder or like the, you know, the in game mod folder. That's someone to consider. Oh man, these long ass save times. Okay, this actually looks... Ah, oh, I hate that it does that, but, like, it actually looks really good for what we're trying to get at. I, I don't understand why that's even, like, a feature that they thought would be good. That it, like, just springs in. Like, why? <clears throat> but, yeah, no, it's good. It's gonna look kind of, like, dried and all... And, yeah. It's all dried up, which is exactly what we kind of need around this part. I 
There we go, nice and cleaned up. It definitely pops from like up here, but I think it it looks fine from like a first person point of view. I do, I really do. Okay, back to our plants. See, if this monsoon grass were, like, not as freakishly green, it would actually work pretty well. Um, I mean, we could put a little bit, like, back here. But even so, like, I just, it's a little bit too bright for... Eh, that's still not really... No. Oh, hey, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go, okay. Let's delete that. What's the biggest patch of this? There we go. There we go. Is that? No, yeah, it's the same color. Yeah, it's a lot less vibrant, and that's actually like exactly what we'd be looking for here. And it like that's better too, because then we can like sort of mix it up with the with the dried savanna grass. Okay, so I'm actually kind of content with how that clearing looks. So let's just like get some more of this grass sort of scattered around here, because it, it's a pretty dense exhibit as far as vegetation goes, but more so on like, well, the grassy side of things. We can't go completely ham and cover the entire thing, by obviously. But, but... It is meant to be kind of a grazing ground, so. I've said that way too many times, grazing ground. Jeez. It's not even a good term. From above, these exhibits always look so depressing when, like, up close. I'm like, oh, this looks so nice. Kind of using it just to, like, highlight the hilly areas at this point. Like, yeah, that, like, let's see. Ah! Sidewalks are so small. Okay, there we go. Like, that actually looks pretty good from, like, a visitor's perspective. I think. This front part is still a little bare, though. Definitely gotta put something else in here. Specifically, like, right there. I'm not really sure what, though. Okay, okay, you know what? Looking at this, there's like there was a few smaller shrubs that were like sort of closer to the fence. Is bamboo good for that? Not this bamboo, but I feel like I have a different kind of bamboo that actually looks very similar. Or sales. No, though you guys do look kind of nice. But maybe not for this exhibit. Fountain bamboo, are you the one that I was thinking of? You certainly don't suck. Mm, let me see let me see here. I'm gonna fill that in a little bit because right now it's just sort of like sticking out like a sore thumb. Is there like another kind of bamboo that I had here somewhere? I feel like I'm, like I know exactly what I'm looking for, but I don't know what it's called. Oh, I don't even know. Eh, maybe I'm just crazy. That happens to the best of us. Okay, in that case, we'll just grab something else to sort of fill in the gaps. Make it seem a little more natural. Oh, 
you really just... Ow. Oh. I hate everything that does that. So much. Does that look is, is that a little too scattered? Can't quite tell. No, no, you know what? That looks that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And then you get like a nice open area here just to observe the trikes as they walk around their enclosure. And then you have the lush stuff in the back. Alright, yeah, I dig it. I dig it. Gonna save this again, and then we're gonna go in and actually put the trikes in and all that. Safety. Okay. So let's get our trikes all set up. And probably have to rename, like, all of them. Alright, shelter. We'll throw shelter in the back, because it actually kind of blends in with all that. Same with toys, because, like, they need them, but I don't want to just, like, throw them out in the open. Alright, um, cool. Let's get you some water. We'll throw that over off to the side, uh, like, over there. Put a substrate pile like right around here. Yeah, there we go. That looks cool. So we'll do that. And then. Some totally hidden pieces of grass in the grass. I just wanted to look like they're actually grazing naturally, you know? Uh, that's that's all I really want to see. Right, I forgot about rocks, but I don't think we need rocks in this exhibit. There's no rocks in the pictures of the exhibit, so, like, why would we even need that, you know? Okay, uh, zookeeper, who's gonna live here forever. Um. Alright, signs. That's what we need, signs. Signage. Okay, there we go. T Rex, Raptor, Proceratosaurus, Parasaur, Elementary, Canthosaurus. Small look for large info, go minus. Brachiosaurus, Brachiosaurus. Might be closer to this part. All right, already did that. So there we go, Triceratops. Uh, where should we put this? Hang on. If you walk in there, and like right there should be fine. And then yeah, you know I'm gonna put some like some grasses around that a little bit too. Just so it doesn't stick out. All right, cool. I think it's time for our dinos. Let's put one, two, let's put three. All right, so from a guest, per from a Proceratosaurus perspective, from a guest perspective, dig it, I dig it.
I like how that one's kind of like coming through the trees over there. All right, let's go in and get a bit of a closer look. Yeah, you eat that. You eat those uh, roots. Oh, see, look at that, look at that, he's browsing in the grass. If only you could go and lay down, like, right there. That'd be so sweet. Oh, well. Oh, look at him. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with how this looks. I'll take a look around, see if I can find my hay mod, and then I might come back and just like layer that with hay as well. I feel like that would look just kind of cool. But otherwise, yeah, guys, there it's Triceratops. Um, as per usual, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Please comment and let me know what you think, what you want to see next. I know, like, like I started this video saying, like, okay, I know what you want to see next, but here's why we're not doing it next. I like if you guys show interest in certain dinosaurs we will do them you know like there were all oh, right we gotta rename all of them like we do have to um probably pick and choose a few of the dinosaurs that might not make the cut that were like in the book or or in the game or whatever and just like knowing what you guys want to see will make the decision of who we have to cut that much easier for me because it'll be like all right well how do I not make my entire uh, fan base angry, you know? And, like, everyone at once is just deciding to rampage. Like, okay, like, you're drowning, so, like, fair enough. I don't know what, that, what their damage was. I mean, it's not even that you're drowning. Like, you can swim. You're swimming just fine, I think. Maybe. I hope. Anyway, right, like I was saying, please like, please subscribe, please comment, all that good stuff. I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you want to see. Until then, guys, thanks so much, and peace.